hello again, it's Arts and Pofu and today as we learn how to start cleaning business. In this episode of our tutorial we are going to learn what you need to start up a cleaning business. Let's get started. After this tutorial you will be able to determine if you have the capacity to start the cleaning business. Now let's look at what you need for your business startup. In order for you to start your cleaning business legally you will need to set up a proper licensing. The requirements vary based on your state and local legislation. So check to make sure you follow your local ordinances for businesses. You will need a license and possibly permits for your business, especially if you opt for a name other than your own to operate under. Depending on your state law and other local requirements, you may need to apply for a business license and pay a fee. Two popular options for business licensing are Limited Liability Corporation LLC and Sole Proprietorship. An LLC reduces the amount of liability you have as an individual and instead puts the company assets on the line. A sole proprietorship is typically cheaper to establish and you have total control over your business. However, a sole proprietorship can put your assets at risk if the business is not profitable. Now let us look at what are the cleaning business startup costs that you may need to be prepared for. Let's look at the basic costs of Cleaning supplies and equipment Costs for cleaning supplies And cost of 15 essential cleaning supplies First let us look at what you need to know about cleaning business startup costs a domestic cleaning business can be started from very little money as well, as well as car and vehicle cleaning business, especially if you are the only person working and you don't need any other employees. This means that your only startup costs will be those demonstrated in the basic cleaning supplies section unless your clients are providing their own products and equipment in which case your costs will be even fewer. As for commercial cleaning, you don't have to rush things, start small and grow. Start by getting used to the new business. Do your best and earn some reputation and at this point now, start offering business cards. This is a tip we can give. You can start by gathering a group of volunteers and offer charity work. Print cheap t-shirts with your new company name and wear them as you work. Try and offer a few of the t-shirts to the premise authorities, that way shows you are committed with your work. Persistence is what is required when you are starting up your business. Don't start by giving up but work towards your first service offers. 
you can save more money on buying the essentials by buying in bulk online, from wholesalers or at the supermarket. It is often cheaper to buy direct from the manufacturer, so be sure to check their websites and mail order catalogs. If you can provide your own cleaning products you may find out that you can actually charge slightly more for your services. So don't feel too disheartened by your initial spending it is likely that you will recuperate the costs fairly quickly once business gets going. If you own a more specialist cleaning company then the startup ousts can be much more substantial, especially if you have to invest in specialist cleaning equipment in these cases always shop around to find the best deal. Now in our next tutorial we going to find out the cost for the basic cleaning supplies. And in our next tutorial we are going to find out the cost for the 15 essential cleaning products you may need to buy for your business startup. Watch our next tutorial and learn more ways to make money online. Don't forget to visit our YouTube channel and subscribe, like, and get notifications.